Hey, Joe here, and welcome to session four in the five minute Archie Guides. In this session, we'll cover Archie properties. Properties in Archie are a powerful feature to enrich the content of your models. Properties can be applied to any object in your model and will have different options available depending on the object type. A common task for enterprise architecture is to understand current application landscape. Typically, this will involve understanding the business criticality, end of serviceable life, and an estimated number of users. To create a field, select an element and then click the Add button from the Properties window. We will name this field Business Critical and we'll give it a value of low. If we add another field, we should now see from the drop down list that we have the previous field available to us. We won't use this one, we'll add a new one. We'll name this End of Service Life and I'll give it a date value. Adding another field again, I will check the drop down list and we can see the previous two fields are available. Again, we'll add another as User Base Law and a value of 5. And another, user base high, with a value of 15. Unfortunately, you can't add fields to a selected group of objects, as you can for other formats such as text alignment. So we will need to add them one by one. We can, however, add multiple fields at a time. Select the Multiple Fields button in our Properties window. We can select All, and you can see all of the fields are added to that object. We'll do another, Multiple Fields, select All, Added. So I'll do the rest and I'll be back in a sec. So I've finished off putting the property fields to the remaining objects and have included some values. As you can see, if we click on Complaints, we have different values, Order Tracking, different values. Next, we'll look at Managing the Field Property List. We can see we have all the fields within our model. We can change the value of one of these, End of Service Life, for example, to have a small O, click on Rename, then OK, and we can see that the change has been applied throughout all of the elements referencing that field. One of the great advantages of adding properties to fields is the ability to search objects within your model. We have a reasonable size model here with business objects, application objects and some technology objects. Click on the search button, we'll notice name is already selected as a default object search. We'll take that off for a second and we'll put it back on later. We'll put on properties, business critical, to enable that as part of our search. The results are now displaying only the objects that have the property field business critical assigned to them, in this case, application components. If we now search high, the results will filter only those objects that have the value high within the business critical property field. Search MED, the results will change. Search low, and the results will change once again. Let's go back and include object name in our search. We'll check what we have now. Name, ticked, properties, business critical, ticked. Let's now do a search on MED for medium. And you'll see it has returned business objects such as social media, etc. as they have the value MED in the name. And the application components that have the value in their property field, business critical field value. So we had name, properties, business critical. Well that concludes our five minute session. In this session we learned that property values are available and vary on the object type and that property fields can be accessible at the model level and are searchable. 
I hope this lesson has given you some value and you'll look out for future sessions. <laughs>